Hello, welcome back. My name is Fish, and we're going to be playing Panzer Corps Operation Sea Lion today. As always, we're on max difficulty, and uh, I'm playing through the early Blitzkrieg campaign. We've just blitzed Poland, and let's get started here. I would rank this as one of the hardest uh, scenarios of Panzer Corps. As you can see, I beefed up my Falschgirm Jaegers here. Um, so as we cross the English Channel here, you need to be aware that there's these radar stations that have vision of four. So that's kind of meta, but I already know that I've played this scenario many times. So I'm going to assume that, that there's a radar station here and position my uh, Falskirm Jaegers accordingly. So they're only going to be able to go to there. There's an invisible line right here. And the enemy should be able to see in these tiles right here. This is very important. The British uh, Air Force is well armed. You, and these are obviously unescorted uh, paratroopers. So you have to be very careful. I'm going to start out by having my sub scout ahead. And we found two battleships. So we'll start in by attacking them. Oh, that was very good. I'm very happy with that. He's going to need a fighter escort. Place him there. We found someone else. Okay, attacking the battleship with a heavy cruiser, or what is that, a light cruiser? That's not a very good idea. I'm going to move this just so I don't forget to move it. It's so small, like you can barely see it over there. Let's move him up, start scouting ahead again. Let's see if there's anything that I can make a good attack against. Oh, here we are. Another light cruiser, okay. Can he reach him? Yes. Very good. And I can put some fighter cover right here so that they can cover, um, like this is what, attack bomber? Strategic bomber? And then um, they can also cover attack bomber from the other side. So I'm going to place him, like, right there. Let's see what type of attack my light cruiser can do. 3-1. Hmm. I kind of want this guy gone, because he's going to be able to make attacks against my transports over here fairly easily. Oh, okay. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do it. All right, that was okay. Not the best, but it was okay. Let's see where this guy can go, see if he can scout anything. All right, there's a heavy cruiser. I'll attack it with my battleship since he can't return fire. My battleship has bigger guns. That's what I'm talking about. Um, that's still not a favorable attack right there. He's going to need a... My TAC bomber here is going to need a fighter escort. I'm going to put one right here so that he can defend... Well, I'll put it right here so he can defend all my transports from air attacks. And let's see what's going on up here. All right. That looks like a good attack. Or not. Maybe it's not a good attack. Okay. Give him a fighter escort. Let's see what the sub can do. That was very good. I'm pretty happy with that. 
there any way of getting that guy in range of my sub? Like, if he for some reason retreats over here, my sub could attack it. So let's um, see what happens. Typically, if you're attacking from like this side of the hexagon, um, and then the enemy retreats, they'll retreat back the polar opposite. They won't go in an obtuse angle. Okay, so he's going to have to go up there. And then we're going to have to assume... So there's a radar tower here, as you can see, spotting a four. And then we're going to have to assume that one's here. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to want these guys well away from my battleships. Let's see here. All right. So that was good because the um, destroyers have a spotting of two. So they'll be less likely to detect my um, transport ships over here. So I'm just going to move these guys up. I'm going to play it safe. The edge of their spotting should be right here, but I just want to make sure in case an airplane flies over here or something that they don't spot my transports because there should be another battleship or a heavy cruiser in there as well, and they'll just really go to town. So now this guy is pretty free. He could make an attack on land. He could maybe help out over here. That doesn't look that great, though. You kind of have to guess where they're going to put most of their forces. So I'm going to put him here, um, and then that'll really protect um, this strategic bomber right here, which is crucial in attacking their navy because the naval attack is 10, whereas my other tactical bombers, their attack is only 2 against naval attack, so they're not as, as good. Let's see what a fighter is. 1. Okay, all we have left to do is micro the transports. I got a few extra of these guys. Destroyers to micro around. Uh, this is not going to be a good day for the destroyers, but that's okay. Expect to lose pretty much all your destroyers and any of your uh, submarines that are left over by the end of the scenario will be completely useless, and that's okay too. The reason why is because they can't um, shore bombard. This guy's going to be trapped in here. see what he does. The destroyers aren't very good at shore bombardment either. Oh. Hmm. Well, there's this dude. That's actually a pretty good attack. Maybe he can soften this guy up enough to where my... Uh, yep. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what I needed. My destroyers can last hit. Perfect. Okay. I never trust these like even attack, negative net two, negative two, because if you're playing Germany, um, it always seems to go like they'll attack me for four and then I'll hit him for one or nothing. So <laughs> I never trust the whatever this is, the suggested number. their estimated, you know, result of the attack. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me take one more quick look. Do we have any units to purchase? Core slots, zero. No. And as you can see, I have 5,600 prestige. I'm hoarding my prestige. You're going to need that when you attack USA and, you know, USSR, then we attack USSA. USA. USSA. Especially when you get to the west coast of the United States, it gets insane. The game literally has like these tanks that are like, they're just godlike tanks. And you really need to have like, you're going to start going, getting to the heavy tanks that can only move like three at a time. It's really cool. Oh, the 3G 
they're picking on my tank, huh? Oh, they got a lucky attack against my fighter. So they had two attacks, then pretty much three attacks, I think, that did nothing. So that's good. I always expect this tank to take this tile up, but I just threaten the tiles right there. And I really can't, you know, I can't really insert a guy right here in between and, you know, all this. This guy's just going to die immediately, so I just put him right here, knowing that they're going to come up and do that. It's okay. Let's save real quick. I always save in between the turns, just in case there's a disaster. Okay, they're concentrating all their forces over here. Their battleships are still over here. Interesting strategy. Um... Typically what I do when there's you don't know what to do and there's so much going on Start with the air. So we're gonna make our air attacks first starting with um, our bombers Okay, and since that's not a good attack, I'm gonna see what my Navy can accomplish. Oh This guy's right up in there, huh? What can this guy do? Not much. Okay. Oh but I've got my U-boat right there. Oh, man. See if he can last hit. Yes, he can. Perfect. And since he's so close to our air bases, I'm just going to have him fly over. That probably wasn't the best. I'll give him because they might be able to see him from there. I guess not. Spotting is just one. Spotting is two. I don't think they're going to be able to see him, but who knows. Maybe a plane will fly close over there. Oh, man. Is there just an easy decision for me to make on this board? That doesn't look great. But he can help us out. Oh, they killed off my little PT boat. That's okay. These subs can just go ham on these bigger battleships and heavy cruisers. That'll move him back. I'm choosing like an airbase that's cl the closest to the coast here. The fighters, you're going to want to pretty much solely attack the other fighters. You know, now my subs can just free range against these guys, just do whatever they want, because these guys won't be able to hit my subs. They have no destroyers in the area that I can see. Um, so all we're going to need to do is kind of plan our attack carefully here. Um, I'm going to have to clear these guys out before we can move forward. Oh, this guy can make an air attack. That's what's pretty cool about the BF-110D. The BF-110s in general. Oh, he can just... Hmm. This guy is really good. Is there anyone with a better attack? No? Maybe this is the one place I should have elited my air force. These just are not good attacks. And their bombers are still going to be up. Hmm. Maybe I should have put more into my Air Force. Alright, well here we go. So this guy pretty much can't do anything. Let's see if I can get... Uh, Better attack here. Oh, that was awful. I hate like these even attacks. So what is this guy? A Spitfire Mark I Hurricane. So the Spitfires are really good. As you would expect, I suppose. Okay, where can I put this guy where one of my bombers is going to land? Oh, 
Huh. This guy could attack and then go right there for some fighter support. Some fighter escort. That is just awful. Well, I guess that's all he's good for now. They've hidden their bigger ships over there from me. Smart tactic. They know that subs are in the area. So come over here and at least I can have really good naval attacks against them. They're going to get some really good attacks with their uh, attack bombers here. That's super scary. I'm going to leave him open. See what I can do with him. This doesn't look too bad. Ugh. Yuck. That was not, <laughs> that was not a, what I was uh, hoping would happen. Oh, maybe this guy can attack him. Maybe I can soften him up and then have this guy come over. Okay, let's see. That sounds like a plan. This guy's like on a suicide mission or something. I don't know what he's thinking. I want to get him to a spot where my destroyer can do some damage against him. The destroyers are more there to last hit and soak damage. Don't have them, like, tee off against a ship that is e of equal or better strength um, that is uh, ten, of, 10 out of 10. Like, you want them to go up against ships that are really wounded. And if you stick to that, you'll, you'll see it'll, it'll work out better every time. Also looking for an opening to get this PT boat in the mix. They're pretty cool little boats, but they only, uh, they call it a Schnell boat, the Yermans do. And um, they only have two ammo. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's see if that softened him up enough. Yeah, I can make a decent attack. I'm happy with that. And then these guys are just going to get shellacked next turn by... I think there's three battleships up there. I'm pretty sure. But they've trapped themselves in there, and my subs can just literally circle around and kill them, so it's kind of weird. I don't know what they're thinking on their strategy here. Uh, there's one of them. I'm fearing that there's a destroyer in there some someplace, but I'm assuming that there's not. That was awful. Okay, but that wasn't. What I like to do is like trap them on both sides with subs. Um, but I don't because the thing is you can only attack with one sub right there. I'm gonna have to move him there and then move him around through there next turn. This guy is gonna have to come over to just be like moral support and take some hits from these um, battleships over here, and I'm gonna start positioning him over to maybe entice the battleships to attack there and not my transports. They, you know, it's not really gonna affect anything if you lose all of your navy. It's not gonna affect one thing, so don't obsess over that. Losing your air force and your ground troops, they are going to be with you the rest of the campaign. Your navy, not so much. So don't worry about the navy. What is this? It's a gun. I don't want to put a gun, you know, on there first. Panzer 4D. That's pretty good. The 4Ds are against the infant. They're good against the infantry, and the 3Gs are good against the tanks. And this guy is going to be able to create space. So he'll be able to land next turn, and hopefully these two as well. Hmm. I'm just going to have him sit there, I guess. And then move these guys up into a better spot. Oop. Since there's a uh, fighter there, and this guy's getting reamed out, I'm going to put him right here in a defensive position so that he can be aided by the fighter. 
guys are gingerly. And what you don't typically want to do is like, you don't want to put something underneath one of their enemy air force because they'll be able to attack and then go back to their air base. You saw me do that. This is okay since there's a fighter there though. So that's why I did that. The problem is the fighter escort's only going to get one attack. So my luck will probably run out here. They might be able to take out this guy. The Panzer 3G, I do not want to lose that 3G, but if it happens, it happens. It's okay. And then here, this is so crucial. Okay, so there wasn't a radar tower there. It's right there. And I don't think that there are any more. One, two, three, four. These guys only have a spotting of one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so here's the invisible line. Oh, this feels so risky. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could... What if they had one right there? Maybe I can just get him up in the mix and be like, here I am. Attack me if you dare. One, two, three, four. So that's the invisible line. Grenadier. Pioneer. Oh man, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> that could go very wrong for me. Okay, nothing to buy. Zero core slots. And... Oh! Such a big map. Okay, the Falschgrim Jaegers. Yes. They're right here. This is the nearest unit. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the railroad tracks are my invisible line for that. Don't cross the railroad tracks. That might have been a mistake if they have any air force up here. So we'll see what happens. I need to take this town as well. And I want to take it quick. So I'll post up three guys right there. And then we want to take this. This airbase would be nice to grab real quick as well. I'm not sure if that was the best way to position this, these guys, but we'll... I think it's okay. Okay, no more. Here we go. Pass the turn. That was pretty good. We want them to attack the destroyers. Wow, he's coming down there. Why? Why are you coming down there? gut-wrenching because now the Air Force is going to be able to mop that guy up. He's gone. Good night. Good night, Falschgrim Jaeger. Okay, so the question is, can this guy come back? You can't hit him. This guy can come over here. Very nice. Okay, micro the air first. Oh, that was terrible. So now I can't get this guy down, so he's going to have to travel one space further. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen in the world, and so is that guy. Okay. 
So this guy can hang out here. I don't think they have spotting over there. And I don't think that there's ra radar towers in inland areas. And then this guy can go up here. They're going to be able to see him, though. But can any of their Air Force reach them is the question. I, d I doubt it. It's so far deep. Maybe I'll just have him here because he can just walk there next turn. So two turns from now, I should have one, two, three, and then maybe one of those four. That's So that's pretty promising right there. All right, let's see what else we can micro here. This is my best fighter? I think so. They've really chewed me up. It's not gone too well for us. There's nothing I can do about this guy. Of course, he's a spitfire. And they have their sub. They've shown their sub. So the only thing that can really attack the sub with any degree of certainty is a destroyer. That's my final destroyer that I have. He'll come up here. I'm kind of deprioritizing the, the Air Force right now because I don't really know what else to do. There's no sub-on-sub -sub action. I think I watched a video that there was one sub-on-sub -sub action. And I'm like, they must have both manned their guns, and they must have been using the gun on top of the deck and been shooting at each other. But it would be interesting to like create a video about that or see a video about that, I must say. These big strategic bomb bombers are so good in these little um in these scenarios where there's um navy involved the problem is they're not good in any of the other scenarios wow they got a big old aa gun there okay so he can't be attacked Have the infantry sally forth. Huh. This is a tough, tough scenario, guys. Like, I'll give it a 50 50 chance that this guy just dies next turn. Okay, 3G. That just looks badass right now. And we'll hook. Do you have anything like getting recon on the ground would be nice. Wouldn't mind that. Damn, that was actually pretty cool. 3G. Try to get your tanks on the ground first. Oh, and then this guy can come by. Somehow he survived the onslaught. Oh. Right there. So there's only two battleship. Okay, so let's see what this guy can do. Two to four. Wow, the Spitfires. The Spitfires are so good. gonna just get it right up in his face like hey I'm here do something about me you know <laughs> nothing <laughs> it's not good gotta get something
he's going to need an escort. So he's and then these two guys are going to need escorts as well. And they're there respectively. And then this guy is going to need to turn tail and get the heck out of there. To a friendly airbase. Is there one over here? Yes. <laughs> and he is out of ammunition, so... After his two shots, he still has nine health. That's insane. Uh, I'm put him there so he can, he can attack with one sub, pull him out, pull the other one in, and get two two rounds of an attack on. These guys will start getting more aggressive. Ooh, that's underneath that attack bomber, so no thank you. I wonder if it would have been better to come up the middle here and maybe try to use more of the beach. Another pitfall that you don't want to fall into. Pitfall that you fall into. Sorry, that was poor English. Don't attack the radio towers. The radar stations. They're completely useless. All they do is take up a square. You're going to waste all your attacks. And it's pretty much going to be meaningless at the end of the day. So just leave them there. They're very annoying, but there's not much you can do about them. Okay, I've got two core slots to purchase now. Let's put him back in there. Wonder if he can attack that sub. Still are useful. That was fairly good. Over one. Now he's going to get attacked. He's going to have to go out there to an airbase. Oof. Can he get to an airbase too? Very nice. going to have him attack that tank and then get out of there. This is, okay, this is important if I can attack that tank. Very good. And then just because he can attack and then go back to their base, I'm going to have him do that. Typically, I will use my exploit where I'll give them that you know, four strength fighters so that they can use up all their prestige trying to um, trying to buff up the fighter. To reinforce the fighter as it as it would be. This is smart. See what they did here is they took up a spot on the beach so that I would be unable to land all my units in one turn. So that's really smart of the AI to do that. What's going to be smart of me, though, is to attack their artillery and suppress it. These guys need to get someplace. They can only attack other ships, so they need to cross and try to get it. And most of these subs are largely intact. Booyah!
beware of tanks in urban settings. So they have an entrenchment of three, so that's probably going to be a um, rugged defense right there. To expose him. I don't think I have any more fighter escorts, but I think that they are gonna, they're out of fuel, so they're going to have to go home. I'm hoping. And then you saw that he backed up his battleship so that I couldn't use my maneuver there to two-time him. So he had to move forward, and then I couldn't move him out to get my second sub an attack. But it looks like it doesn't matter, or maybe it does. All right, I need to clear this guy out of here. Subs are so annoying. I'm just going to have to move him up. Oh, that was an artillery piece. Whoops. That's going to be interesting next turn. I don't even know if that's worth it. I think I need to attack here. And then it's going to be the tank. And see, that was only like a one entrenchment, and they still uh, proct a uh, rugged defense. So now you want to be careful because you can't move that into there. Um, because it won't just land in the port. You'll have to, it'll take two turns to take that port. So you don't want that. So this guy did not attack. Hmm. But he's so low strength. I could probably move him there. That doesn't sound that great though. This guy's going to start circling around to try to get to this artillery. This guy can move up and do a fairly decent job against that anti-tank gun and then pr protect the anti-tank from him moving forward. Let's get these guys on the beach. Oh, this guy hasn't attacked yet. What should I do? I should probably re-strengthen him. I'm going to be wasting a lot of prestige just re-strengthening units. See if we can't put him right there. These two have fighter escorts. Move him over. Okay, it's going fairly well. Did I lose one of my Falschgarm Jaegers? One, two, three, four. Oh, he just got beat up. Five, six. Yeah, I had six of them. He got pretty beat up, dude. That was not pretty. Does he hang in there? Yeah? Okay. He'll move in there so that he can move north and attack. And even though that was not an advantageous attack for me, I need to keep on... Um, I have an overwhelming force in that area, so... I need to keep up the attack against them. I need to wear them down and then make sure that they're not reinforcing, which is an option if I don't come in and attack. Hit them hard. Um, there's a negative bonus to reinforcement if there's an adjacent enemy um, unit. So you want to make sure that you get your enemy, your units against the enemy just so that they can reinforce less. And I can purchase two units, but you have to be careful here because I can't spawn any in the territory that I just um, conquered. So I think I had a Geberk's Jaeger. I think I want to get a Grenadier. So see, here's the problem. Like, I literally cannot put it over here. And then it's going to take me three turns to get it across. And then what else did I lose? It was a fighter. I will gladly replace the fighter. This has less fuel, more ammo, and more air attack. This has more air attack. You want to go with the higher air attack. There we go. Pass the turn. Yikes! That's a good attack. Wow, friends. Ah, oh, my precious friend is dead. 
They are really chewing me up in the air. That was good. <laughs> Anti-tank doesn't too, do too well against infantry. Okay, no more targets for these subs to hit. I'll just keep them out here for the enemy air force to try to attack. I think that's the best option. Oh, you're so screwed. Surrender. Yay! <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, what can these boys hit? That's an entrenchment of six. I'm going to start wearing that down. This guy is probably going to be able to make this guy surrender, or not. Surrender. No? Guy's a legend. Nice. Pin them against the coast as much as possible. That probably opens up an attack from this guy. I just don't know what I'm going to do against their Spitfires. The Hurricanes I can deal with, but the Spitfires, not so much. We're playing them pretty even at this point. I'm just um, expecting that my paratrooper strategy is going to save me, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that wasn't as good as I had hoped, and this isn't, well, I could probably attack him directly. Nice! So you see, this guy is going to have to embark, disembark, and then he'll be... So that was one turn to spawn him, one turn to get there, and then a third turn to get on land. So it's going to take him three turns to get there, that's fine. The question is, do I need to kill this guy off or not? I think I'm just going to have him head over here and do a fighter support. Hopefully they buff this guy up. The Hurricanes are super expensive um, to reinforce, so we'll let them make that mistake. And an undefended tactical bomber. Very nice. Is there anything for these strategic bombers to hit anymore? Let's see here, we'll go with the subs first, since they can't hit anything else anyways. I'm going to try to trap this guy in. Very nice. He's got an entrenchment of five, so I'm going to turn my um, battleships on to him. Feeling a little more confident. Now, these guys are completely useless. The strategic bombers. I guess he can do a hit right here, so... I don't mind running them unescorted right now because it'll attract the enemy fighters. Ooh, this guy's beat up. This is so juicy. So he can move into there next turn. If I don't screw this up. Let's move him that way. He'll probably retreat into the city, I'd assume. I'm not going to attack because he only has one um, ammo left. All right, so we're. I was at 56 at the beginning of this scenario, so we're slowly replenishing our prestige. And you, sir, have nothing to left left to attack. I wish they had t uh, attacked my Schnell boats. That would have been nice. 
instead of like my important things, like my infantry. Pretty good luck right there. We'll have him get on the move here. See what's going on up here. Wow. Yowzas. Do I clean this guy up? He's in the open. He has no artillery. Um, I would rather they reinforce that guy. He's just so weak. I need to get this uh, VP here. So we're going to have him come over and just clear this unit out here real quick. And then these guys are going to just walk up. They're not going to load into trucks. That'll make them vulnerable to air attacks. So the Pioneer should do better, but it's not going to do better. Okay. Here's a situation where you're going to be attempt you're going to be tempted to attack this stupid radar tower. Don't do it. Yes. Okay, we got it. Perfect. That was pretty good. Now we're going to roll into there. Soak up that prestige. Move him up. See what's up over there. I can't believe I still have two battleships. They barely touched my battleship and my, what is it, a heavy cruiser? I only have one battleship. And then, as I told you, the subs are useless. This guy's going to have to go back to the airfield. So you can kind of get a sense of where, wow, what was that? It's a big train thing. You can kind of get a sense of where they're going to go to, though. There's an air base right here and right there. Um, so you can tell where they're going to be refueling and resupplying. Okay, that was a pretty predictable move on their part. Clear skies. Alright, they're pinning me with this armored train. I don't know, they might have taken that a little, a little too early, though. be attacking with the armored train too early. I have no anti-tank. I'm assuming an anti-tank gun would be the appropriate thing to use against this. It's ground defense is 9, so I don't know. That's not that great. It's just taking a long time to wear that down. Just walk it up. Walk up your artillery. The, the distances are not that far for this scenario. Go back to the base. That's all you can do. It's fine. He can attack one more time. I'm gonna run these guys unescorted because I'm telling you they're not my core units. First off. Second off, if they attack them and I lose them, I don't really care. It's not gonna affect my prestige as far as I know. And see, look at they didn't even uh, they didn't even resupply him because they know it's not really worthwhile. So they took attacks. Oh, I got this nice juicy guy right here. Can he just last hit him? That would be so awesome. So now I can move my forces up without having to worry about that guy blocking him. This guy can make an attack there. I gotta wear away their uh, air force. Here. That's pretty nice. Hopefully that fighter doesn't die next turn. I'm gonna try not to. Oh, maybe one of my fighters did die. Damn it! I gotta pay more attention. <laughs> oh. oh. I should have just bombed him. Duh. And look what we found. 
They resupplied um, that one fighter that I thought they would. Perfect. So this guy can go make an attack against this guy next turn. Which I think I might let him do that. So basically what we're doing here is like if I um, were to put replacements on this guy, it would cost like 120. But if I buy a whole new fighter, it costs me 410. I did not use Elite at all. If I had used Elite, I probably would have kept more of my fighters. I have one, two, three, four. Right? I only have four fighters. One, two, three, four, five. And one of those fighters is uh, the AIs. It was given to me at the beginning of the scenario, so I'm going to buy another fighter. I typically run five fighters at this point, and I think when we go to Barbarossa, I'll run six, because the Russian Air Force has an infinite number of everything. Oh, if I could take this guy out, so juicy. And then this, grabbing this would be so good. Let's go recon, see what they have over here. Okay, and if I put him against the this um, VP right here, they won't be able to spawn units there. Same uh, with this. So they'll no longer be able to spawn units in there. Okay, that's okay. Like a defense, he just got in there. They are they're already entrenched. Okay, he's gonna have to rebuff. Hopefully, oh he's out of ammo. Okay. Perfect. And believe it or not, um, these destroyers can start making attacks. Start wearing down those entrenchments. I probably didn't land this guy in the right place, because he should just be able to move up one step at a time here going to worry about that. There's probably an artillery piece right there, just to let you know. Two entrenchment. Definitely going to need the infantry to attack there. I'm a little concerned about our prestige that's going down. This will help. Yay. I don't think that we're going to come out ahead on the prestige curve in this scenario, though. Oh, just big and bold, just like right out there, huh? That's what you want to do? Okay. You're just going to give me your artillery piece. Take it. It's fine. ET's fine. I don't know about attacking there, guys. It's in, or attacking that. <laughs> you know my thoughts on that. See, I can since I'm next to an enemy, I can only um, strengthen him too. Um, if this radar tower wasn't there, I'd be able to re-strengthen him to ten. Very annoying. Come on, just take him out. Yeah! Oh, that was savage. Defense plus one. Nice. See, there's nothing, no enemies around him, so he was able to strengthen up to ten. Um, they're doing a good job up there. <laughs> this guy is kind of hanging out on his own, though. I'm a little worried about him. Maybe I'll just have him, I'll have him just hang tight there. They can obviously see where his position is, so maybe I'll move him back. If this guy moves out though, or this guy moves out, that would be a win for me, because that means they leave their entrenchments. I'll leave him right there and see what happens. Uh, the Schnell boat is able to attack. 
is able to shore bombard. Surprise, surprise. I think there was any more units for me to buy. Did not check. I always check down here before I pass the turn. so good with that attack. That one too. I should have known, but attacking their artillery is just so crucial in this bombardment situation, this defense situation. Like the main piece of any defense is going to be the artillery, so if they are going to give it to me, maybe they suckered me into that, but... Ooh. Matilda won. Wow, look at that attack! There's no way that's not going to be a record defense though, so I'm just going to go over here. I think that's a bait right there. He's got, like, initiative plus one. He's got seven entrenchment. Hmm. All right. This guy is going to re get replaced. These guys are going to go cross-country. Could get him to their next turn, to that crossing. This guy can get back up in the air pretty quick. Someone's going to need to take that. Oh, uh, I have the train as well, so he can take the, tra the train next turn. Movement is so important. This guy's already out. Go find a port. Refuel. I'm not too worried about my sequencing right now because the main part of the battle is over. The AI didn't get suckered into any attacks against my attack bombers, which I am disappointed about. So they came over here. They're using him as a fighter escort. Very good. What? But where are the rest of their fighters? That's what I want to know. Is there like a guy right here? Maybe they're over here. This guy is just not going to do well boxed into there, so I'm going to start moving him around. Nope, didn't find any fighters. These small field artillery pieces are, for the most part, here to take out enemy entrenchments. They're not here to necessarily um, actually deplete enemy strength. So, that's the way I look at it. If they do deplete enemy strength, that's good, but that's not their primary objective. Man, they just do not want to give this up. Hmm. These guys are going to have to make attacks. Very important that um, these guys up here do well, just to keep the attacks going. Try not to get depleted too badly. Oh yeah, baby, you're mine now. I'm not going to go in and attack this because they have two anti-aircraft guns there. That would not be fun. Well, it looks like they attacked that sub. So that, that's pretty cool. So if he's at a one, I'm just going to leave him at that. Oh, what do I do? He has no more entrenchments, so I'm going to hit this guy just to start depleting his entrenchment levels. Come on. 
I feel like I'm wasting so many resources just to take this little town. And I am. And if I can wedge my tank in there to start attacking their artillery, that would be nice. Gotcha. Move him to the side so he can't just attack there. I guess he wouldn't anyways, because there's a fighter there. Let's see. Put another, yeah, attack my sub. It's a good attack. I could last hit that attack bomber, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let them waste all their prestige. Oh, man. I know there's probably fighters somewhere. All right. I'm going to pass the turn, and then uh, we'll call this video right here. Because I think we're in a halfway point. I'm fairly happy with what's going on here. It could definitely be better. But I guess everything things can always be better, right? Ooh, buddy. Two infringements, so risky. Just want to make sure that everything is moved and attacked that I want to attack. This guy's back there. Put another juicy sub for them to attack. And we'll pass the turn. Oh, they did it! <laughs> it worked! My plan! Waste all your air force on my submarines. They can't swing that tank around to attack me. Ooh, rain in the forecast. That's not going to be fun. All right. Well, thank you for thanks for joining me, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment below. Um, I really enjoy playing this series of Panzer Corps. And I will see you on the next one.